guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing this eye look right here I didn't film my whole entire phase like my foundation or my concealer just because I know you guys already seen a bunch of those on my videos and I did um, this really purple colorful look like I promised you guys I would and here it is a purple eye with a mauve lip pinky mauve lip I also created this look with my violet boss palette I've been dying to play with this palette I decided to do a colorful look since there's so 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 many beautiful um, cranberry colors I just decided to play with all the cranberries in here I really hope you guys enjoy this video without any further ado let's jump into the video bye guys okay so let's start off with the transition shade I'm going to be taking bestie and transition as my crease shade and blending it with this BH cosmetic brush I don't know the number of it but I will list everything down below these two shades are gonna act perfect for the look that we're going for right now So right now I'm making sure that everything is well blended and we don't have any harsh lines. So right now I'm going to be picking up Are You Kidding Me? These are like the cutest names ever. But I'm going to be blending the shade with my Morphe M511 brush. And now I'm going to be taking Wine and Dine. Oh, I can't get over how cute these names are, but I'm going to be blending this shade out on my outer V with my Morphe M433 brush. This shade is definitely whiny cranberry color. I'm obsessed with it. And um, I was taking a lot, a lot of time blending this shade because it was just a little bit hard to blend. But all in all, I, I'm like obsessed with this color. And as you can see, I am taking my M511 brush and blending everything together so we don't have any harsh lines. So this is how it should start to look like, very cranberry and pinky, I'm obsessed with this look. I can't get over how also like the palette is just amazing and the names are super cute. I think this is going to be my holy grail palette to be honest. And now I'm taking a teddy bear, this is like a very dark plum color and taking this makeup addiction brush and applying this on my outer V. I also wanted to add more definition that's why I took this dark color but you guys don't have to take um, teddy bear you guys can just leave it alone like that it looks beautiful. And now taking this smudger brush from Pretty Bar I will list the name down below but I'm going to be taking um, Transition and Bestie and blending this on my lower lash line. And then taking another smudger brush and adding Wine and Dine to the lower lash line also. And right here I'm taking my Morphe M433 brush and making sure that everything is blended out so we don't have any harsh lines. And now I'm going to be taking Cranberry Splash. This shade is absolutely stunning. I can't get over how pigmented and vibrant it looks on my eyes. And I did want to intensify it a little bit more so I took my ring finger and applied, it, applied a little bit more onto my lid. Now I'm going to be applying this eye candy glitter. This is in double bubble, I think, but if it's not, I will list everything down below. And I'm going to be using this Too Faced 
insurance adhesive glue this is going to make sure that nothing falls down and we don't have you know glitter everywhere under our eyes you can tell i'm digging this glitter it's so pretty so i don't know why i got over my inglot gel eyeliner it's one of my favorites i don't know why i stopped using it but i'm gonna be applying it with this sigma eyeliner brush i love how black and intense this eyeliner makes my eyes look and for those that are asking for an eyeliner in-depth eyeliner tutorial i will be making one very very soon so don't you worry And now moving on to falsies, I'm going to be applying these eyelash mafias. I think they are in Capri. I'm not very sure, but I will list the names down below. And as always, I always curl my eyelashes and then put on mascara so my eyelashes, my falsies and my real lashes can blend in together. And now I'm going to be taking this shade right here in Ploof and adding this on my inner corners. And now I'm taking this Maybelline, um, I think they're called, ugh, I'm not very sure, but I will list them down below. But I always apply this before my powder highlighter. I love an intense highlighter. So this and the powder highlighter will make your highlighter look so, so good. And now I'm going to be taking this Marc Jacobs blush in Flesh and Fantasy. These blushes are so pretty. I love how the finish looks like. Now I'm going to be applying my favorite part and this is the highlighter, the Makeup Addiction Holy Glow Volume 01 Highlighter Palette. I'm so obsessed with this palette. You can't go wrong with it. And I'm also taking my Morphe M310 brush. This fan brush is my favorite. Like I don't know why I didn't find out about this brush sooner. And for my lips, I'm taking this um, lip liner from Motives. I don't know the shade, but I will list it down below. And taking Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks in Stripped and Naked and applying this all over my lips. So last but not least, I'm going to be taking my MAC Fix Plus and spraying this, bathing in this actually. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.